It's Bonnie. Happy Monday night. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have a fun video. So this morning was all about Halloween and sweet cinnamon pumpkin because what do I see? I get up this morning, I get on Bath and Body Works and I see the Halloween. I'm like, Halloween on the brain. <laughs> And then um, after I did the video, of course, I remembered that today is the launch of the floor set one for Bath and Body Works in stores. Um, so I need to get in the store. I need to photograph it. This is including um, the Lakeside Citrus, the Pinkberry Clouds, the New Men's Canyon, Open Sky. I'm going to go over all of the scents in floor set one. Um, they did arrive online early for us on Friday, but we don't have a lot of like the special little things like the um, the cleansing mousse I think we have, the foaming like uh, mousse in the can. Um, we don't have any scrubs yet, so I'm not sure what's going on online. Also, some of the things are online exclusive, so I got to talk about that too. So, First is first things first. Open sky, you guys. Oops, that's not open sky. <laughs> open sky. I reviewed this about a week and a half ago. This is an interesting scent available online. New fragrance. Um, this is one like this is like a big release. It's like um, one of the signature releases for the season. It is fresh air, wild blackberry, soft violet, in a cloud of comforting vanilla. What does it remind me of? I always do this. I don't know what's going to happen when my bait and tackle box is gone. <laughs> it is a camping scent, you guys. Reminds me of camping. I smell the blackberry. I smell the fresh air. I actually compared it to a fishing lure. <laughs> Everyone's going, what is wrong with your body? <laughs> it does. It's got like this odd, it's got like a camping scent to me. It is a unisex scent, including the packaging. The packaging is very unisex. The scent is unisex. Um, not something I would wear all the time, although I would polish my furniture with this. I want my house to smell like open sky. I want to get my hands on the candle. Um, like I said, it's it's not really in my in my wheelhouse of scents that I would wear, but it's nice. It really is. And if you like a fresh air scent, and you like a wild blackberry, um, this one may be for you. So um, that is Open Sky. Then we got Canyon. Canyon's the brand new men's scent. I took a picture in the store on Instagram. It looks so pretty. I like it when they do these really um, graphic design bottles. I think that's prettier than the plain bottle. Um, this one is actually... Black Pepper, Desert Sand, and Crisp Vetiver. I like this one. This one is actually really nice. I'm going to see if I can get my husband to wear this one, um, and I will do a review on that one. Then we got um, the Faceted Collection. Um, I reviewed Golden Sunflower. That came back from last year. I also reviewed Sweater Weather in the gray bottle. I don't know if I love the gray bottle. Honestly, I'm kind of eh on the gray bottle. Um, Pink Velvet Cupcake and Mad About You are also in the faceted. I can't wait till those get here because Pink Velvet Cupcake looks like it's a red bottle, as is Mad About You. I'm like, why are they putting Pink Velvet Cupcake in a red bottle? It should be in a pink bottle. So I don't know. <laughs> We shall see when I get that. So those are the four faceted scents. And then we've got our online exclusives. Then I'll talk about the ones that are in the floor set. So online exclusive, Wicked Vanilla Woods. That is the new Halloween scent. Online only. Blueberry Sugar Pancakes and Pumpkin Cupcake. I know everyone's interested in those. Those are like, I cannot wait to get my hands on those. I am dying to find out what pumpkin cupcake smells like. I can't wait. So then um, the last three in this new fall floor set collection are Lakeside Citrus, which came back from last year. I'm going to talk about that. And then my two favorites, which are Pinkberry Clouds and the Sunrise Woods. I would like a scrub in both of these. I'm actually getting um, the Pinkberry Clouds in the lotion. I ordered it in the shower gel. I can't wait. So Pinkberry Clouds is strawberry sponge sugar, marshmallow fluff, and fresh air. It is boardwalk taffy with a fall flare. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, I love this one. It's like a really strong strawberry boardwalk taffy with like a fall fresh air element. It smells so good. I could literally douse myself in pinkberry clouds and be happy all day. <laughs> Seriously, this is like one of my signature fall scents. I can already tell. I'm equally enamored with the Sunrise Woods, which is a little bit similar. It's kind of interesting. So the scent notes on Sunrise Woods, and I do have the full size coming, um, is a sweet woodsy blend of creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, and cozy cashmere. Um, it's a cousin to Pinkberry Clouds. And I really think um, that it's kind of like a cashmere and snowflake with like a berry twist to it. It's also a little woodsy though. I definitely smell um, a woodsy element in it. And I was just looking at the reviews here online. Um, mixed reviews. It looks like one person um, said that it is, is it twilight? They think it's twilight woods. Um, and then two people love it and another person's a little bit disappointed. Um, again, a lot of people think that this is Twilight Woods. I'm going to have to do like a side-by-side -side comparison. I actually, believe it or not, go figure. I don't even think I have a Twilight Woods in my collection at the moment. I don't even know why, <laughs> but I need to get my hands on Twilight Woods and do a side-by-side. -side. Um, what are the scent notes? I'm just looking really quick, you guys, to see. I almost ordered Twilight Woods the other day during the sale, and then um, I actually forgot. How many people do that? Like, you go to order something, and then you walk away from your computer, and then you forgot. I do that all the time. <laughs> I was ordering, so why can't I find Twilight Woods? Oh my gosh, you guys. Twilight Woods. Um, let me see here. Twilight. I'm curious to see what Wicked Vanilla Woods is, too, because that might be a play on um, both of these. Okay, Twilight Woods Retired Scent is Lush Berry, Sparkling Mandarin, Soft Mimosa, Apricot ne Nectar, and Cypress Woods. Okay, those scent notes are a lot different um, than where did it go? Um, than the Sunrise Woods. So I, I'm going to find out. Uh, this is this is like a Scooby Doo mystery that I'm going to solve. <laughs> We're going to find out if um, Sunrise Woods and Twilight Woods are the same. I don't know why I don't even have Twilight Woods. Go figure. Um, the last one in this collection is the Lakeside Citrus. So this was last year. I kind of like last year's bottle. Um, and this is this year. It's funny because I like the Pinkberry Woods, but I don't know. There's something really pretty about this bottle. Um, I was not a huge fan of Lakeside Citrus last year. It is Autumn Air Citrus Seth Sparkling Water. Another one um, that could definitely be a unisex scent. Um, it's just very fresh. It's definitely a fresh citrusy open air scent. I actually prefer open sky a lot a lot better over the um the lakeside citrus because I don't like the citrus element in the lakeside. I prefer the wild blackberry in um in the lakeside. I, I don't know. I think open air is is a really pretty scent over lakeside citrus is something I know a lot of people like this one. If you like citrus, if you like a strong citrus and you like a strong fresh air scent, I think you're going to like this one. Um, it is really strong too. That came in the collection with, remember, it was the uh, white pumpkin and chai, which I doubt they'll bring that back only because we have so many pumpkin scents um, this year. Uh, it also was part of the, um, the whipped vanilla almond and... Was it Pink Velvet Cupcake? Was it the, the fourth one in here? Now my brain just went out my ear. Um, but that was the collection. That came out like later in the season. Remember, we all excited. White Pumpkin and Chai was like definitely the one um, that was the most exciting. Or is it, fr it was Frosted Cranberry, you guys. I think it was Frosted Cranberry in this collection with this design. But um, White Pumpkin and Chai was definitely um, the leader. So, so far... For fall floor set, for me, uh, Pinkberry Clouds is the clear winner. Um, however, that could rapidly change when I get my hands on the pumpkin cupcake and the blueberry sugar pancakes 
and the Wicked Vanilla Woods. I can't wait to get those. So um, let me know what your favorites are so far for fall floor set one. We got 12 fragrances. And, you know, everyone, fall is not over. <laughs> we got fall floor set two, and I think we have a three. So there's going to be a lot more scents coming, including Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, which I just reviewed this morning. I'm also burning, by the way, uh, Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. I'm going to review that later today. I'm in a Caramel Pumpkin Swirl mood today. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.